Hi everyone, welcome to the Apple Tech page. Several iPhone users have reported that they could not download FaceTime and some apps. It shows this app requires specific features not available on this device error. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to get rid of this issue. Solution 1 is check screen time for FaceTime app. To do that, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on screen time. Then enter your screen time passcode if prompted. Now tap on content and privacy restrictions. Here tap on allowed apps. Make sure that FaceTime is turned on. If it's off, you have to turn on it. Solution 2 is make sure that your iPhone is up to date. First, connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi. Once connected, open settings app. Next, scroll down the screen and tap on general. Now tap on software update. If iOS update is available, tap on download and install. Solution 3 is change your country or region. FaceTime is not available or might not appear on devices purchased or used in few countries. To change your country, go to settings app. Now tap on general. Scroll down the screen and tap on language and region. Here tap on region then select US or UK and try to download the app. Solution 4 is first restart your iPhone. If you are using iPhone 8 and later models on iPhone SE second generation then do the following steps. First quickly press and release the volume up button. Next quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 7 and 7 plus then do the following steps. Press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 6s plus and earlier models then do the following steps. Press and hold the home button and side button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. Solution 5 is sign out of iCloud and sign in back. Go to settings app. Next, tap on your name. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on sign out. Enter your Apple ID password in the pop-up box and tap turn off. If you want to keep a copy of your data on this iPhone, turn on these features. Then tap sign out and again tap on sign out to confirm this process. Now restart your iPhone. Then go to settings app. And tap on sign in to your iPhone, then enter your Apple ID and password to sign in. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe to Apple Tech page.